Hi guys, it's me Eunice. Let me ask you guys a question. What's that one word that we're all afraid to hear? That we're all afraid to listen to and look at and... Ooh, yes, you guys probably guessed correctly, it's acne. I know that a lot of you guys are dealing with this problem and same here. As for me, as a lot of you guys know already, I have acne prone skin. So not only do I really study about acne itself, I also study about the lifestyle and the products to prevent acne. All right, so today I'm here to help you guys to learn more about different types of acne and how to properly treat them. And make sure you guys don't go anywhere and stay tuned till the very end because I'm gonna share some of my personal tips too to prevent acne. Let's get right into it. Alrighty, so let's start by jumping into the different types of acne. There are so many categories out there that you can organize them by, but today I'm gonna just do the basic ones. There are mainly three different types of acne. All right, so first runner up, is the whitehead. It's the most common form of acne and it's the most commonly found acne on our face. It looks exactly the way it sounds. It's white in appearance, which keeps the oil and dead skin cells inside from being exposed to the oxygen. And this type of acne, there's no redness and no swelling. It's a form of acne resulting from the accumulation of germs, oil, dust, and dead skin cells. Alrighty, so moving on to the next type of acne is popules. So basically what it is, is when sebum, bacteria, and dead skin cells under the skin has caused inflammation. So popules will appear as very small bumps on your face. So the bumps reveal no visible pores, but it will seem as it's closed, very surrounded by skin inflammation. Moving on to the third type of acne is the scary, most gross one of all, it's the pustules. You will notice that they are red in color with in the center, it's white and it's yellowish. And it's like the pus is about to burst out. They may be really, really painful when you touch it, but oh, Girl, don't go there. Don't you touch it, don't you pop it. I know it gets really tempting, but if you do that, it might lead to other breakouts or a really bad scar. So now that we took a look at each type of acne, let's get into the treatments for each type. It's really important to know the proper way how to treat each type of acne so that you won't get any future breakouts or scarring. All right, so let me start by showing you how to remove whiteheads. Now, this never goes away naturally, so it's really important that you remove them. But if you remove them the wrong way, it can lead and it can develop into pustules. So you have to do it the proper way. So let me show you guys how to remove them. All right, so what you need are clean hands, alcohol swab, cometo remover, and pimple patch. So first step is very simple. Make sure that you sanitize the remover, the sharp ends of the remover. I'm just gonna get my alcohol swab and clean it up. Ah! <laughs> clean it really well. And this is the whitehead that I really want to pop, this one right here. I'm gonna clean this one too with the alcohol swab. Now, it's very simple, but with the sharp ends of the remover, I'm gonna pop boop, the pimple and I'm gonna get the other side, the hoop on this side. I'm gonna put it around the pimple and make sure that I squeeze it out. When you squeeze it out, you will see a yellowish white sebum that comes out. Now, after you have popped the pimple and extracted the sebum, you're gonna get a pimple patch and put it on top of the pimple like this. This is gonna prevent the infection for six hours, so this is very important. Now that you are done extracting the whiteheads, I'm gonna give you tips on daily skincare routine so that you can prevent whiteheads. I'm gonna get Kozar X's AHA Whitehead Power Liquid. Now I'm gonna get compressed cotton pack from Claire's, and then I'm gonna get Claire's Soothing Serum, and then I'm gonna get I'm From's Vitamin Water Gel. All right, so after cleansing, we're gonna use Kozar X's AHA 7 Whitehead Powder Liquid on the cotton pad and wipe it on your face and make sure that you dab in all the leftover serum. And this step will help you get rid of any leftover or residues on your face that can block your pores. It's very important to really moisturize your skin deep within, so it's important to add a moisturizing serum before you put on your cream. So we want to recommend this 
Clair Soothing Serum. It has been upgraded with the moisturizing and absorbing effect. And we want to recommend it for those of you who feel like you have a dry skin or sensitive skin or you have problems with whiteheads. It's time to calm your skin by using vitamin tree water gel. I'm from vitamin water gel is great for cooling and calming effect. Make sure to soak them all in to hydrate your skin deep within. Moving on to the popules. It's really, really hard to extract popules. And if you treat them the wrong way, or if you touch them the wrong way, it can aggravate the infection. So it's very important to treat it properly, or you have to wait until it reaches the point where you can pop the pimple. Popules are really known for that red trouble mark. It can really last for a very, very long time. So if the popules, your area is too large, or if it seems like it won't fade away, then we suggest that you see a dermatologist right away and talk to your doctors for the injection for your infection. In Korea, this is really common. It costs about $10 only. However, if the popules are at the beginning stage, here's a great tip on how to treat them. All you need is pinky powder and some cotton swabs. So pinky powder, I know that a lot of you guys know this product already. Uh, it has portulaca extracts and grapefruit peel extracts, which are great ingredients for calming your troubled skin. Now, the key point here is to not shake the bottle. If you already have shaken the bottle, then wait until the white powder sinks down till the end. I'm gonna open it up and get a cotton swab. And I'm gonna go down and get the powder underneath. And you'll see this pink powder and I'm gonna put it on the pimple like this. So we suggest that you do this step for the last step of your skincare step before you go to bed. And if you follow this treatment at the early step of your popules, it will get rid of the popules and it will calm your skin. However, if the infection has already progressed inside of your skin, it can develop into pustules. And if you start seeing a little bit of the pus and it becomes pustules, make sure that you put the pinky powder on every day so that it develops into the stage where you can actually pop it. So let's move on to how you can pop pustules. Now, moving on to the pustules, it's the reddish ones with the yellow or whitish pus in the right in the middle and you can actually see that. If you treat it the wrong way, then the pus can actually go deeper into your skin and it can leave a really, really bad scar. All right, so what you need is alcohol swab, cometa remover, and pimple patch, and blue cream. So now I'm gonna get the alcohol swab, make sure I sanitize, make sure that I sanitize both ends, and then I'm gonna pop the pimple. And I'm gonna get the hook part and then squeeze out the puff. First, a lot of yellowish, whitish pus is gonna come out and blood will come out too. But keep pressing, make sure that you don't do it too harshly, but keep pressing until after all the blood and after all the pus, you're gonna actually see a very clear water liquid that comes out. Now, after that, with the clean alcohol swab, I'm gonna press down like this, gently press down and make sure that it dries. And I'm gonna put on the pimple patch. It can protect our skin from any polluted materials. And I'm gonna leave it on for 12 hours. And after about 12 hours, you will notice that this patch will turn completely white. And after that, you can take off the patch. And then you're gonna get blue cream and make sure that you put it on. Put this on as often as possible so that it can reduce the redness. It will help to reproduce your skin cells. So, I hope that you found our treatments for different types of acne really helpful. Now, we want to introduce you to very simple and easy hacks to prevent acne. First, make sure to do perfect cleansing. I know you guys are saying, I know Eunice, I know it's very obvious. As obvious it may sound, cleansing thoroughly is so important. Prevent troubles, proper way of cleansing and exfoliating is very important. Now, make sure that you use a product that suits your skin really well for exfoliating. And for perfect cleansing, if you want to see a video, please check right here. The second one is very simple, but never ever leave your skin dry, even for a second. Especially after we take a shower, when you come out of the shower, we first, you know, 
put lotion on our body and then we wear our clothes and then we go to our face. But for me, I make sure not even for a split second that my skin is without any water or any moisture. As soon as I come out, I put on mist or as soon as I come out, I start using um, skincare products first and then I use my body cream. The third tip is very simple also. When you go to bed, make sure that you sleep in the proper position because putting your cheeks or your face onto the pillow, you don't want the oil from your body, your hair and your face to go onto your face. For me, I have really bad posture so I cannot sleep perfectly. So when I have to sleep on the sides. So what I do is I try to change my pillow covers every single day. But realistically, that's really hard. So what I do is I get a towel and I put it on top of my pillow and I change that every night. And that's such a simple but a very smart trick to really prevent acne. All right, so fourth tip is tie your hair. I think you guys will agree with me, but any of you guys with bangs, you guys will know that you guys start breaking out more on the forehead part. Any part that your hair touches on your face, it does cause breakout. So always try to tie your hair when you're putting, you know, your skincare products on or especially when you go to sleep also. Tie your hair loosely and then go to bed so that none of your hair would touch your face. All right, so the last tip is to wipe your cell phone with an alcohol swab. I know that a lot of us spend so much time with our phone. I mean, we never let it out of our hands, right? You put your cheeks onto the phone. You guys know how dirty your phone is, right? And very unsanitary this is. Great and simple tip if you get an alcohol swab and wipe it. I suggest three times a day, but even if that's a lot, I suggest once a day or as much as often as you can. And lastly, I just really, really from the bottom of my heart, hope that you guys don't stress out because I know how that feels like. I also had uh, acne prone skin and I personally still do have acne prone skin. Staff at Wish Trend and I are here to help you guys out and we are not going anywhere. So as long as you're with Wish Trend TV, you will become more beautiful inside and out. All right, so that's it for today. I really hope that you guys enjoyed the video and I hope that it was helpful. Thank you guys so much for tuning in till the very end. Please subscribe to Wish Trend TV and also my personal channel, Uni Me. Thank you for joining me today and I will see you guys next time. Bye!